Alright, I just got back from the gun shop and I picked up this uh, shop soiled Webley. Um, it's a Webley Stingray. So, we'll have a quick look. Come to the box here, we'll have a look. Okay. Um, I think this is one of the Turkish made ones. Probably made by Hat Sand, by the looks of it, it looks very. Um, very much like a hat sand. Let's get rid of that. There's the owner's manual. Don't need that. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Doesn't look too bad, actually. This is a, I think this is a shop sword one. It's got a few little um, dinks and dinks and dings in it. Um, yeah. Power lock inside, whatever the hell that means. Stingray 2. You can see there it's got the gold trigger. Um, we have a bit of a look there, Webley and Scott. Um, 22 cal made in Turkey. So I was looking look under here. A bit rusty there, but that's the standard breech seal that um, most of the hat sands take. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, of course, it's the Australian model. It hasn't got any of the uh, device on the front of the gun that reduces the sound. Plastic front sight. Some sort of safety. Um, yep, sculpt mounts off. You got like a weaver style and a tip off. 11 mil. The wood's not bad actually. Um, some sort of walnut. Now, yeah, overall, it's pretty average. I'd probably turn this into a project gun of sorts. Um, anyway, I'll stop the video. We might do a bit of chronograph testing quickly on it. Put it off the crony and see what numbers we get. Okay, so this is literally one handed across the chronograph. I don't know what we're gonna, how we're gonna accomplish this, but let's see if it works. That's literally the first shot. 710 with super domes. 22 cal, 14.5 grain. I worked it out later on. That's not a bad start. Dig diesel a bit. I can smell it. But um, I'll fire a few more and we'll see how we go. 710. We ended up setting, settling down around 700. After about 10 shots, that'll probably decrease. And we're, we've got indoor light in here, so it's usually a little bit higher. So I reckon we're probably looking around the 650 mark, which is which is respectable uh, velocity for this type of um, firearm. We're going to give this one a full tune. I'm going to rip out the seal and um, breech seal, piston seal, and probably uh, develop a gas ram for this one. So stay tuned for them modifications and then we'll do some more chronograph testing.